This is Cooking in Brooklyn with Danny Milano, and I'm Danny Milano. And I know it's been a while since my last episode. I had to take care of a little family business, but I got calls every day from Mr. Bridgeside. When are you coming back? When are we doing another episode? I'm building a brand new kitchen for you. So I came and checked it out. And I gotta say, Mr. Bridgeside did an unbelievable job here, and he sucked me back in. Today, we're making a beautiful skirt steak sandwich with fresh mozzarella and sauteed onions. Hey, go Bridgeside. We're gonna start off first by applying some olive oil to our pan. Oh look, a stove that actually works. Then we're gonna chop our onions. Here we go, it's gonna pop. Throw our onions in. Mix the onions around a little bit. Should only take about three to four minutes. The way I found out about this dish was going to my friend's tailgate, Macho and Brian. Die-hard Jet fans. I used to go with Dave Casanova and my friend Tommy all the time. They always switched up the menu, but this is one of my favorite dishes on game day. While the onions saute a little bit, we're gonna cut up our fresh mozzarella. I was always an ass man. So the onions are done, the mozzarella's cut, and it's time to transition into the yard. Hey, Chichi, get the steak. So this is Bridgeside Productions. You got your control room over here to the left, to your right, we got the green room. Who's this handsome guy on the television? Looks like we got company. Hey, Mr. Casanova, guess it each. I'm doing all right, I'm just a little bit hungry. I've been waiting yeah, for this all day. Been a little detained. Got our grill already heated, and we're ready to throw our skirt steak, your baby, onto the grill. You see that? Look at that, it's beautiful. We're gonna close this up. Skirt steak's thin, so. Should only cook for about 10 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna cut this up. Feed me, I'm starving. Come on, are we gonna cut this or what? All right. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. It's almost done. Yeah, it is. Looks done to me. Hey, you wanna eat it raw? It's been a while. You want a raw steak? Or you want a fresh one? I'll eat it raw, let's go. Let's give you a fresh one. Right. Got the steak ready and now it's time to cut this baby up. And we'll save that little piece for me. Ah, it doesn't want to go. All right. And they <laughs> and it is what it is. Alright, so let's get this ready. It's got our Italian bread. I'm gonna put it on just like that. Grab some of our onions here. We're gonna spread the onions out. We're gonna take a piece of mozzarella, that right there. Close that up. Steak number two. And the last, but not least, we're gonna grab our tin foil. Our steak. Hey Dan, why are you putting it in foil? Because we're gonna place these sandwiches back into the grill until the fresh mozzarella melts. Nice. All right, so. Teamwork. Like the process Teamwork. It's game day. Teamwork. Faster we get this done, fast I eat. We're gonna close this up and we'll let them sit in there for about five, six minutes. All right, so these sandwiches are ready. Let's go inside and unwrap them. And let's go eat. <laughs> Andiamo. And we're back into the kitchen, baby. Woo! All right, Dave. You've been patient, I'm proud of you. Now, let's unwrap this baby. It's been a long time coming. Oh yeah. Woo! Look at that mutz, look at that mutz, look at that mutz. Woo! Oh my God. Huh? How does that look, Davey? That's unbelievable. And there it is. Easy, simple, and delicious. The perfect sandwich for game day. Bon appetito, Dave. Thank you. I know you've been waiting. And the animal is back too. Mm. So how is it, Dave? It's delicious. It's the perfect dish for game day. I think I just said that. I don't know if I'm... Uh, did you? I don't know. Did I? How about the onions? What about them? Never mind. Look at that cheese, huh? Dan, this dish was so delicious, I'm about to cry. Don't worry. Anytime, Dave. Anytime. And this has been another cooking in Brooklyn. I want you guys to try the dish at home. I want you to comment, let us know how it came out. And if you haven't yet, 
Make sure you like and subscribe to the Bridgeside Network. It's good to be back, Dave, let me tell you. When I finally thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Go Bridgeside. Hey, I know I just said it, and I don't like to repeat myself, but when you get a chance, please like and subscribe to the Bridgeside Network. And Cooking in Brooklyn is back and better than ever. So make sure you watch our next episode where I make a costaletta parmesan. <laughs>